What's up, guys? We're back yet again. Real Bucks Talk here. We're going over a wide receiver for agent signing, Russell Gage. This is someone we've talked about a lot on the offseason. It could be something of a hidden gem that people aren't talking about. But guess what? Training camp's on, and the, the people are showing what the hell they have. And Russell Gage has come back healthy, and he's obviously gotten a big influence on the team and his head coach. So before we keep talking, let's listen to what Todd Bowles had to say and what Russell Gage thought of what Todd Bowles said. A good job. Uh, Gage has really been the one to stand out. Uh, I don't think we covered him yet, but he's been doing a good job the past couple of days. Again, we're out of pads, but he's a guy that flashes and shows quickness and, and fluidity and everything else that I've seen the past two two days. Bull said today they can't cover you so far. They haven't really done a very good job, which is a compliment to you. Has it been a fairly seamless transition to this offense? I know you're just getting on the field now, really, with Tom. Um, man, well, they do a good job of simplifying everything. You know, I know what they want out of me. You know, I know they want me to, you know, win, win, win at routes, win at top of the routes, win at the line of scrimmage. You know, so you know, with it being that simple, I mean, for sure, you know, I can, I can definitely transition over and do that. Simple, simple, simple. Plus, isn't that a good thing? Yeah, it absolutely is. You know, keep it, um, you know, basic and you know, just throw and catch. And that's something that Russell Gage can do, obviously create for Tom Brady. Uh, it's a good sign that he's uncoverable right now. So, you know, just building that team chemistry and obviously Tom and, and Gage getting on the same page, he's going to be a weapon. He's definitely going to be something of an asset. Uh, I mean, let's bring in, I'll bring in his stats here. You know, you take a look at it. Um, you know, 66 catches over 700 yards last year, four touchdowns on a team that really didn't have much, you know, outside of, you know, Kyle Pitts, who had a big year. Um, you go back to some of his earlier seasons, and it's just been a steady progression. And you look at the the targets, uh, 109 targets in 2020, um, 72 catches. So his catch percentage is pretty high, uh, which is good, you know, over the 60% percent percentage range, if I can talk, uh, <laughs> you know, so that's really good. And then obviously 70% last year, on 94 targets, 66 catches. Um, well, what's huge, though, is mm -hmm. we're going to be using him in the slot. He used him a lot on the outside because Julio Jones went down, Calvin Ridley with, you know, his deals, uh, getting literally suspended the rest of the year. So he was the main go-to. So he's already known what high volume is, and what he's best known for is shiftiness, speed and space. And if you have Julio Jones, current teammate, former teammate, Mike Evans on the outside, they have to worry, holy shit, who the hell do I cover? And then you got a Russell Gage that's known for being shifty, known for winning. He's, he's saying it's simple. He's saying <laughs> it's simple as it can be. And yeah. you know what? Let's, let's break it down. Let's actually add Colton Davis. What do you think about this new addition of Russell Gage? Probably already, but Russell Gage is a guy that, that has given your defense problems in the yeah. past, even yeah. last year. Um, yeah. What have you seen from him, and and you know how does how does it help you guys going against a guy like that, staying fresh? He is so shifty. His uh his releases is crazy, you know, and uh, he's underrated. But that guy is a problem when it comes to game planning and understanding uh you know your leverage because he plays in a slot, and and that position in particular is a quarterback's favorite go to just because it's so close, and it's so convenient. Uh, and he's a guy who likes to win. He wins. And that's one thing about him. He wants to win every rep. You know, it's great for me as a quarter, as a corner to just get that, uh, you know, overall look from everybody, from the speed to the power. And, uh, you know, he's one guy that brings the shiftiness and, and the subtleness and the quickness to it. And, uh, you know, I love competing against him. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty awesome uh, to hear. Um, obviously, Carlton was very highly uh, – talkative about the receiver group as a whole. He talked about Julio Jones and then obviously got into Russell Gage there. Uh, you know, and it's, that's great to see and great to hear that he is someone that is, you know, obviously making a name for himself in this offense and giving trouble to the defense, but also making the defense better because he's a type of player that you see a lot in, you know, today's NFL game where he's operating that slot and he can, you know, make a lot of moves after the catch, but also getting open uh, before the catch happens. So there's a lot to his game that you have to like. Now, like Carlton Davis said, he's the closest option to the quarterback, if not the tight end, 
if, if dare I say they put a safety or a linebacker on him, good luck. Like his shiftiness in space is going to be an asset, especially Tom Brady, who loves to throw in that quick, quick space. Just let's get it out there. See what happens, especially if you're being you're having to worry about over the top speed, which Carl Davis did nothing but high reviews of Julio Jones as well. So it's pick your poison right now with the offense. And if you hear all these good things about Russell Gage and how good he's looking in practice, just knock on wood and hopefully he stays healthy because that's literally the only thing preventing this offense from being lights out. Let's put it that way. Top five, most definitely. And it, sh- it could be honestly best offense in the league. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt about it. And yeah, it's just it's great to see that, you know, he's coming along and he's becoming, you know, a part of this team. Obviously, he's fitting in very nicely and he's going to be, I think, uh, a very focal point of the offense, especially early on as Chris Godwin, you know, uh, recovers and gets back to to full game speed. Uh, So, yeah, I mean, this is uh, great to hear. It's, uh, you know, something that you look forward to uh, as this you know season comes up and just watching him and being an option for Tom Brady and, and being that guy that can get uh, key first downs at key times uh, for sure. And like Tom Davis said, again, reference him. He likes to win. Who doesn't like to win? But I think he just means top of his route. They're simplifying everything for him. Hey, again, it makes it simpler that he's not going to get double teams at all. I mean, they, they're going to shade Evans or Julio. He's going to get to be able to win easily. It's just him doing his job and I can't wait to see it. Can't wait to see this offense just, firepower it's going to be amazing hit that like button comment down below what do you think of russell gage is he going to be a hidden gem is he going to be a guy that lights up the fancy football rosters let us know if you haven't subscribed yet hit that button and with that said until the next one